Hi everyone, it is still summer here, so I thought I would make another tasty and refreshing dessert. It is the Filipino fruit salad. It is made with different kinds of canned and preserved fruits. The best thing about this dessert is that there's no cooking required. Thumbs up for that! I just returned from the Asian supermarket and it's like 10 p.m. right now. <laughs> The reason I'm starting this video at this time is because I need to fully drain all the fruits. I'm going to open the cans of fruits and then dump everything into the colander and let it drain overnight. But first, let me show you what I've got. I have a can here of the classic fruit cocktail. Instead of the classic fruit cocktail, you can also use this one here, which is the tropical fruit. Or you can go with this one here which is the Fiesta Fruit Cocktail. I also have a can of pineapple chunks and a can of young coconut meat and syrup. I'm also going to be adding an apple to my fruit salad. You can choose red or green apples. And I have a jar of Nata de Coco, which is coconut gel and syrup. Here I have some sugar palm in green, but it also comes in red as well. We will need some sweetened condensed milk, some Nestle table cream, and if you can't find this, you can replace it with all-purpose cream, heavy or whipping cream, thick cream, or evaporated milk. And this next ingredient is optional. Some people like to add it, some people don't, so it's completely up to you. But it's shredded mild cheddar cheese. You can also buy the blocks of cheddar cheese and cut them into cubes if you like. And to top the fruit cocktail, I'm going to add some maraschino cherries. Now I'm going to open up all these cans and jars that you see in front of me and then drain everything. I just dumped the fruit cocktail into a colander here and this is what it looks like. This is everything that you get. You can see that there's some peaches and pears, grapes, pineapples, and cherries. Now I'm going to take this fruit cocktail and dump it into my other colander to drain overnight. I have done the same with the pineapple chunks. Just dump the pineapples out and drain them. And now I'm going to add them to the other colander as well. I will be using this colander here because it comes with this red bowl to catch all the syrup. And I place a smaller bowl upside down in the center right there to keep this colander off from the bottom. I still have these three items here that I need to drain, so let's continue. Everything is now in the colander. We have the fruit cocktail, the pineapples, the coconut gel, the young coconut meat, and the green sugar palm. Now I'm going to place a lid on the colander, put this in my fridge, and by morning all the syrup should have drained. I'm also going to place the sweetened condensed milk and the table cream in the refrigerator as well. I'm just going to leave it like that unopened and put it in my fridge so that by tomorrow when I'm ready to mix everything it'll be nice and cold. Okay I placed everything in the refrigerator except for this apple here. <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night and don't let the big bugs bite. Alright y'all here we are the very next morning. I just taken this out of the refrigerator let me show you what it looks like. There we are. It's all nice and chilled. And let's see if the syrup has drained. So let's move this over here. And there you go. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's about maybe one third cup of syrup there, which I'm going to discard. I have emptied the bowl. Now we can go ahead and pour all this into here. There I go. Gently mix everything together until it's all well combined. Okay, just be gentle. Now I'm going to add more stuff to this fruit salad. Now that everything is thoroughly mixed, we can go ahead and make the cream mixture. Give the table cream a good shake before you open it. I have a bowl ready right here, so now we can go ahead and pour in the table cream. Just dump it all in there. 
and we'll do the same with the second can. Now when it comes to the condensed milk, just pour half of the can in first because if you pour the whole thing in, it might be too sweet for you. So I would suggest pouring half in and then do a taste test. If you find that it's not sweet enough, go ahead and add more of the condensed milk um, and adjust the sweetness to your liking. My son wants to help me with this part, so go ahead, Timothy, and whisk the mixture. Good job. Okay, whisk until both are well blended. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a taste test and see if we need to add more of the condensed milk. Okay, I think that's perfect. Um, for me, if I was to add the entire can, I think it would be too sweet. I think half a can is good enough for me. Uh, but like I said, if you like it sweeter, just go ahead and feel free to add more of the condensed milk. My son's also going to help me pour the creamy mixture um, over the fruit salad. Go ahead, Timmy. Good job. Now again, uh, we're going to mix everything together, toss it gently to um, combine everything. I tasted the cream and it is so delicious. Yum. You know what else I'm going to add are some more cherries because you, there's, you can see that there's a few in here but not quite enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the maraschino cherries and add some more into the fruit salad to give it more color. I have drained the cherries and I'm going to use half of the cherries to put into my uh, fruit salad. I'm going to save the other half of the cherries to top my bowls of fruit salads. Let's add the cherries into the fruit salad and give it a stir. There you go. See it adds a little bit more color. Now you have some red in there. Next, I'm going to cut up my uh, red apple into cubes. Alright guys, I was going to add an apple to my fruit salad, but once I cut up my apple, um, unfortunately this is what it looks like on the inside. Darn it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to leave the apples out this time. Boo! Okay. I'm going to finish off my fruit salad by adding some raisins. And I'm just going to add probably a handful of them. Pour some in here. Alright, that should be good enough. So I have probably about not even half of the bag. Oops, that one right on top. The raisin was trying to escape from my fruit salad. Alright, give that a stir. The last ingredient is some shredded cheddar cheese. Um, you can also use a block of cheese and then cut them into cubes if you like. The cheese is optional. Oops. Alright, so I've added that much. Just about a bag. I might just go ahead and dump the whole thing in though. Let's see. Alright guys, all the ingredients are in. So the fruit salad is done. Let's give it a taste test. I'm going to grab a little bit here. A little bit there. I'm not going to grab too much here. There it goes. Yum. It tastes heavenly. What a great dessert to have during summer. For this fruit salad, I prefer to eat it really cold. So I had scooped the fruit salad out of the bowl and separated them into these plastic containers here. And I placed them in my freezer for one hour. If you decide that you do not want to put them in the freezer and you just want to refrigerate them, then refrigerate them for at least two to three hours. So here are the ones that I placed in my freezer for one hour. And let me show you. Like that. It turns out so creamy and delicious. Here we are guys. This bowl is ready to be served. This is the final product. Doesn't that look wonderful? It's tasty and refreshing, perfect for those hot summer days. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I post new videos every week. 
Have yourself a sweet day. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye.